Elvis Presley began his final run of concerts 40 years ago today in Cincinnati. More than 17,000 people jammed into Riverfront Coliseum, now called U.S. Bank Arena, for what would turn out to be Elvis's second to last concert. Presley arrived late, telling the crowd it was due to dental problems. The show came at the end of almost two months of constant touring, and the King of Rock and Roll's performance was described as, quote, loose and lighthearted by the Cincinnati Inquirer, a far cry from some of Presley's other 1977 shows. After Cincinnati, Elvis flew to Indianapolis and played what would be his final show on June 26th at Market Square Arena in front of a crowd of about 17,000 people. Before the show, cameras at the airport captured the last known footage of Presley accepting a gold record. The film would be used in the posthumous TV special Elvis in Concert that fall. The program, like many of Presley's final shows, was noted for the singer's unhealthy appearance and inconsistent performance and has never been shown again. Five weeks after playing Indianapolis, Elvis's former bodyguards released a tell-all book detailing his drug use. Two weeks after that, on August 16th, he died of a heart attack. He'd been scheduled to leave that evening for another tour. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building.